I'm a bit late to the party with this, but today we're talking about Waypoint 2.0 for the Mavic 2 drone series. It's a bit of a mouthful, but more about it after this. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Keith and on today's video, we're gonna be looking at the new Waypoint mode for the Mavic 2 series of drones. I'm a bit late to the party with this video. It actually came out a couple of weeks ago in the new firmware update. This Waypoint mode is far more extensive. I've been playing with it a lot recently. I took the drone out earlier today um, down to a local park near where I live to have a play around with it and show you guys how to use it. So here that is. So I come down to Calloy Park, which is a small island just off the coast of near where I live. And there's a jetty out to it and you can drive out to it. And there's a temple on it. And I just thought it would be a beautiful little location to show you this new waypoint mode for the Mavic 2 series of drones. This new mode is far more extensive and powerful than the original mode for the Mavic Pro 1. With that mode, you would have to fly your drone to your desired waypoint, set your height and then record the waypoint. And then you'd have to do that for each consecutive waypoint. With this, we just point and click on a map and it's, it's far easier. So to do this, you have to go into your intelligent flight modes and select waypoints. And you are immediately presented with a map. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a very basic mission and then we're gonna fly that and then I'm gonna take you through a more, the more advanced settings after that. So making sure that your, your waypoints is selected and, and you can see that in the top middle menu there and it's the first option. We're gonna create our first waypoint by just clicking on the map and then we're gonna create three more waypoints around the island like that. Now you can see each waypoint has a height and we can adjust that height for each individual waypoint. And to do that, we basically push on the waypoint and then stroking the screen up or down, we can adjust our height as you can see. Now you can select the next waypoint by clicking in it or you can in the top menu here, you can click on the right arrow and it will take you to the next one. And we just do the same. And we do the same for here. And the last one. Now you'll notice that at the moment there's an arrow and it's pointing at the next waypoint. This is basically the camera direction and we can adjust the camera direction. So even though the drone is going to fly to the next waypoint, it doesn't necessarily mean the camera has to be pointing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the camera direction. To do this, we click back on our waypoint and then the third option in, which currently says route, we're going to click on that and then we're going to say custom direction. And we're going to stroke the screen down a bit. And as you can see, the arrow adjusts and we're going to do that for the next one as well and the next one and the next one now you can also adjust the gimbal so we can set the gimbal position as well what basically how far it's pointing down so to do that you can see we'll, we'll do it on our last waypoint you can see gimbal pitch and we'll set that as zero but then we'll go here actually no what we'll do we'll set that at 45 because that's the back of the island that's quite picturesque so we can point this down and say we, we point that down at 50 and then we'll go to the next one and we'll have that at zero. We'll have this at 45. So basically that's our mission ready to go. Now we're going to just click on go and then it's going to bring up another load of settings and I'll take you through those basically. So all waypoints direction, we've set that on custom route. Free basically means that you can pan the drone freely around. It's going to fly to each waypoint, but you can pan around and freely focus on whatever you want. Custom route is what you've set by setting the custom directions, whereas route is just going to fly in a straight line to the next waypoint, turn into the direction of the next waypoint and fly in that that direction as well. We're obviously leaving it on custom route. Return to home altitude, you can set that and it won't affect the default return to home altitude. I'm just gonna leave it on 100, which is what mine is. Task finished. Now this is what you want the drone to do when it's finished your waypoints. I want it to return to home because basically I want the, the drone to fly the whole mission without me having to touch the controller. There are other options. We can have it hover, we can have it return to the first waypoint and we can have it landing where at the last waypoint, which is which could be handy. Now, this is a more important one, no RC signal action. That basically means that if you lose signal when you're flying, you can, um, there's a number of options here. I want it to continue the task, but you can have it return to home. And these last two options don't make that much sense to me, hover or landing. If you lose signal, you're not gonna really know where the drone is landing or hovering. So I think 
to me, those two last options are kind of non-applicable, but we're gonna have it continue on its task. Now, these root types, polyiron and arc. So basically what arc does is, if, you've, if you haven't set where your camera is pointing, so you've got, it's going to basically change the direction smoothly between the first and second waypoint. So if you're, say, your waypoint is pointing 90 degrees and waypoint number two is pointing 180 degrees, in between those uh, two waypoints, the drone is going to basically pan around to that 180 degrees smoothly from the first to the second waypoint. Polyline is basically going to follow the route that you've set. So we're going to leave it on polyline because we've already set our, the, our basically where our camera is going to be pointing at these waypoints. And that's essentially what we're going to do. Um, cruising speed, we're going to, because this is a basic mission, we're going to fly it really quickly. So we're going to whack it up to eight. And that is basically all the settings you need. Now we can click start and the drone is going to ask to take off and it's then going to fly its entire mission and then come back and land. And away it goes. Okay, so that was a basic mission that we just flew. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced, and we're gonna use something called the POI mode. And what that means is you can set a point of interest, one, two, or even multiple POIs, and then you can set waypoints around them and then link those waypoints to that particular POI. And that will then, no matter what the height you're at, it will pitch the gimbal and focus the camera on that POI, all done automatically. Um, it's, it's, it's quite cool. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our intelligent flight modes and our waypoints. We are going to switch to satellite mode because I want to be able to see exactly where that temple is. And in our sort of PO, uh, waypoints um, menu in the middle there, we're gonna set POIs, which is the second option. And then we're gonna set a POI by just clicking on the map, same as we do with waypoints. And there is our POI. Now, what we want to do is adjust the height because it's up on the hill. So I don't want it focusing at ground level. I want it up a bit. So I'm gonna click on that and stroking my screen again, I'm gonna set it to 10 meters. Now I'm gonna set a load of waypoints around that and you know how to do that, but we'll do it. So we're gonna set first waypoint here, second waypoint here, there, 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 and there. So there's our waypoints, and we're going to set the heights for them. I'll do that quickly now because you guys already know how to do that. Okay, so we've set our heights. Now what we need to do is we need to link those um, waypoints to the POI. Now there's two ways you can do that. So if you have multiple POIs, you can click on a waypoint, and that last option there you see is if you click on that, you can then select which POI you want to link that to. Now, we're only having one POI, so we're gonna link them all at once, and we can do that by clicking on the POI, going to link waypoints, select all, and they are now all selected. You'll notice that the arrow is focusing in on the POI. So there's one more thing I wanna show you, because what I want to do is I want to control when it starts recording and finishes recording. So obviously I want to start recording at the first waypoint. So I can do that by clicking on the waypoint and then going to camera action here, and I can say start recording. I can then go to the final waypoint, camera action, and stop recording. But you can also take a photo. So you can have like a POI where you say, take a photo of this and the drone will automatically take a photo. In this, we're just gonna start recording and stop recording. Okay, so our mission is, is good to go. So again, we go to go. We check all our settings over, that's what we want. We're gonna set the speed to uh, about five and we're going to start the mission take so the drone is going to take off so as you can hear the drone has taken off the drone is going to fly to the first uh, it's basically going to gain the altitude to, of that the first waypoint then it's going to fly to that waypoint and it's going to line itself up start recording and fly the mission it will stop recording at the final waypoint and then it will return to home and land. And I'm not 
even touching the controller in any of this. This is pretty cool. Um, a few years ago, I dreamed of technology like this and the fact that you can now do this with this app, it's, it's, it's awesome. There are a few issues with it, which I'll take you through uh, back at the studio after the mission has flown. Okay, so that was the new Waypoint mode for the Mavic 2 series of drones in a nutshell. I've had that mo this mode for a couple of weeks and I'd already shot this video once, but I decided to go to Koloi because I thought it was a bit more picturesque than flying around my house. So I c when I was initially shooting this video, I found this really strange bug. And um, basically what it is, is when you create a POI and try and select that POI to adjust its height and all the settings, it just creates another POI over the top of it. It doesn't actually let you select the POI at all. As you can see from the screenshot here, and it just keeps happening. And I was all geared up for this when I was down at Koloi today, and it just didn't happen. It worked absolutely perfectly. And I couldn't understand it. I thought maybe it's because I switched to satellite mode or what. I came back here and it continued to work. I changed the map overlay back to the standard map overlay and it stopped working again. So I thought, okay, maybe it's when I switched to satellite. I switched back to satellite and it still wasn't working. And no matter what I do, I can't make it work again like it was earlier at Koloi. It makes the POI mode useless because you really have to faff around to try and select that. And it's really frustrating. <laughs> I can't tell you how frustrating it is. Um, I don't know if it's just peculiar to my phone or what. If you guys have seen this, I'd be interested to, um, to know. So if you could leave a comment in below and let me know, that'd be really great. Because um, I really don't know if it's my phone or not. I'm thinking about buying the DJI Smart Controller, to be honest, because my phone has a tendency of when it gets hot, the screen dims and carries on dimming to the point where you really can't see what's going on with the drone. It happened again when I was down there just as I finished filming and I have to hit return for home and hope that the drone lands properly because I just can't see the screen. Um, I'm switching to a, an Android device for, for now because it's just it's too dangerous to do it that way. Um, Moving on from that weird bug, there's another thing that actually I think is a bit more serious, and that is the fact that when you set a POI up and the drone is traveling from one waypoint to another, the idea is it basically focuses the camera on the POI and smoothly pans to match the direction of the drone, or, or, or smoothly pans around. It's not doing that. It seems to sort of jutter around. It, it, it's not smooth. It's not it's not smooth basically and it, it's it's really annoying because you can't really use that you can't use that footage in any kind of video because it just it looks horrible it's you know the idea of cinematic footage is that it's all smooth and silky and that kind of thing this you can't have that it looks like an old stop motion movie it's it, it's dreadful um i think this is a bug but it happens every time i do it even when you're sort of doing a standard mission without pois and you put the drone in sort of arc mode it does the same thing it's not smooth when you're using normal poi mode it's very very smooth um but this sort of waypoint poi mode it's 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 awful at the moment so to me at the moment the video you're getting from it is just almost useless photos it's fine but way but video at the moment it's 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 not great we can't use that kind of footage don't get me wrong i think this mode has a lot of potential and it's it's far more extensive far more powerful than the original one i mean with the mavic pro one having to fly the drone to the, the waypoint you want and then having the height. It, what was the point in that? I mean, literally, the Alici app, if you use that for years, has been able to make you plot that. Hell, I was plotting uh, waypoints on the Parrot 2 drone years ago, and yet DJI would make you fly the drone to that point and record it. Don't know what they were thinking then, but anyway, this mode is a great improvement on that. It's just buggy, and again, this is my frustration with DJI, and I know I seem to moan about them in every video I make. I love their products, but whoever is running their customer service is bonkers. I mean, how can you release this with that that kind of bug in it? it, 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 it it's beyond me, but anyway, 
I'm not going to moan anymore because I would like to make a request of DJI, and this is a genuine request. The one thing I think this mode is so good that you, you could sit there for quite a long time making a detailed little mission out and playing around with all the points. The problem is the drone is powered on when you're doing this because you can't access this mode when the drone is off. So you're draining your battery while you're doing it. What would be really nice is if DJI could include some offline mode in a future update, be it a, a separate app that could, you know, have the same access to the task manager as DJI Go 4, or just include it in DJI Go 4. Whatever way, having an offline mode would be really, really nice so that we don't drain our batteries. Because unless you've got like tons of batteries with you, um, you, you, you need to, you know, conserve your power for flying and getting that good shot. So it would be really nice, uh, DJI, if you could include that as an offline mode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you don't miss another one of these. And it just leaves me to say happy flying wherever you are and take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.